This is a steam engine. It was invented in 1698 by this guy, and later some clever folks like these guys tinkered with it. It was the spark that lit the industrial revolution, smoke choking the skies, factories roaring to life, and goods flying off production lines. For the first time ever, humanity didn't need horses or oxen to move the world. We thought we'd cracked it, the ultimate power source. Now, jump to today. We've got smartphones in our pockets, lights that never flicker, the internet connecting us all, and even AI bots that chat with you. We're living in the future, right? Except, hold up, what's powering all this? It's that same tech from the Victorian age. Yeah, you heard me right, steam. So what gives? How's a 300 year old invention still running the show? Stick around, because we're about to unpack why steam's still king, and whether it's time we finally kick it to the curb. Let's hit pause and break this down a moment. How does steam power even work? It's honestly crazy when you stop to think about it. Picture this, you've got a load of water locked in a sealed container, a boiler. Back in the day, they'd chuck some coal on the fire underneath. That heat then turns the water into steam, and the pressure starts building and building. At this point, it's got nowhere to go, and so it pushes. Hard. Stick a piston over the top, as they did in the early machines, and those big metal arms crank to whatever they were hooked up to. Maybe a pump to suck water out of a flooded mine, or wheels to haul a traction engine down some muddy road. The point is, that push turned heat into motion, and suddenly humans were moving stuff without a horse in sight. It's so simple, right? Boil water, make steam, use that steam to push something. But that's the magic of it. This one trick kicked off a whole revolution and the modern world as we know it. Now, fast forward to today. Take that same boiler from the 1800s. The same steam, the same pressure, but instead of slapping a piston on top, we stick in a turbine. This thing spins insanely fast, thousands of RPM. And instead of hooking it to a pump or some creaky engine, we bolt it to a generator. Toss in some coils, a magnet, and then we have it, electricity. The same old trick we've been pulling for centuries. But here's the wild part, about 80% of the world's electricity, your lights, your phone, your Netflix, comes from steam turbines just like this. And get this, a ton of places are still burning coal to heat that water. Yeah, coal, in 2025. Crazy, right? So after 300 years of inventing smartphones, rockets, and AI, how is it we're still stuck on this steamy old hack? Is it really the best we've got? Why is steam still running the show? Let's take a deeper look. It really comes down to two big challenges when you're making electricity. First up, efficiency. Turning heat into power is tricky. Most of the energy just, well, vanishes. Wasted. Steam turbines, though, they're beasts at this. The best ones hit up to 50% efficiency. But hang on a minute, 50%? Sounds nuts, right? Like, half the fuel we burn just disappears. But here's the twist. That's actually decent compared with other options. Wind turbines do maybe 30-40% to 40 on a good day. Solar panels, like 20%? Steam's out here flexing, turning half its energy into something we can actually use. Then there's challenge number two. Accessibility and reliability. Heating water to make steam is dead simple. Coal, gas, nuclear, pick your fuel and it's time to go, 24-7. No waiting for the wind to blow, the sun to shine, or a river to flow. Steam doesn't care about clouds or calm days, it just keeps spinning. And since we all like our lights on and our phones charged, it's a no-brainer. It's not sexy, but it is reliable. We've spent 200 years perfecting these turbines and we're getting pretty damn good at it. But as great as it is, there is a catch. Steam's got some serious baggage. Sure, it's good for making power, but what we burn to heat the water, that's the problem. Fossil fuels, namely coal and gas, are still the big dogs, and we're pumping out CO2 like it's a competition. Climate change aside though, nobody's stoked to live next to a power plant choking the sky with smoke. But it's not all doom and gloom. We're getting smarter, cranking up efficiency, swapping in nuclear fission to heat the water instead of coal. It's cleaner, sure, but even then we're still tethered to this 300 year old technology. Rest assured though, as humans, we're always looking for the next big thing, something to leave the old ways in the dust. So yes, yeah, steam's holding strong for now, and nothing else quite matches it yet, but it wouldn't be right to end things without exploring what the future holds. Is the current status quo unbreakable? Maybe not, we're on the cusp of some wild stuff, 
fusion energy straight out of science fiction, giant batteries might store power so we don't need to spin turbines non-stop, solar and wind, they're getting cheaper, smarter, ready to take on bigger loads. But here's the thing, Steam's already got a head start. Trillions of dollars in power plants, pipes and turbines aren't going anywhere overnight. New tech's coming, but it's fighting cash, habits and a world built on boiling water. Steam's already had an epic run. 300 years of keeping the lights on, and definitely in the short term, it looks like it's here to stay. It's interesting to think about anyway. Let me know your thoughts below. Are we ready to ditch an old relic, or is it too good to let go? Thanks for watching. I hope this video gave you something to think about, and if you enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.